wash your hands. Do 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 wash your hands. Do 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 wash your hands. Hi everybody. Today I'm going to teach you how to make a holiday recipe called snickerdoodles. If you've never had a snickerdoodle, you're in for a real treat. Snickerdoodles are absolutely delectable. You're looking for a soft, pillowy texture with a little bit of a tang and a strong cinnamon sugar taste. And that's how you make a great snickerdoodle. And that's what I'm gonna show you how to do today. Those of you who are cinnamon lovers, you're gonna make these for the rest of your life, for all of your family and loved ones. The ingredients you're gonna need, one and a half cups of sugar, two and a half cups of flour, two teaspoons of cream matata. This is what gives it the tang that you need, cream of tartar. One teaspoon baking soda, half a teaspoon of salt, eight tablespoons of unsalted softened butter. That's softened, not melted. Eight tablespoons of shortening two eggs and then you're going to roll the mixture in some cinnamon sugar and for that you're need, going to need a tablespoon of cinnamon and a th another third a cup of sugar and those are our ingredients my friends so our first step is to combine the sugar one and a half cups along with the eight tablespoons of shortening and the eight tablespoons of softened butter into a mixer. And you can see here, I have my handy dandy KitchenAid mixer. You could use a handheld mixer, any type of mixer you need. And we're going to mix this for about 30, uh, excuse me, three minutes. Three minutes is the correct answer. Three minutes and then add one egg at a time until it's fully uh, mixed in. That's the first step. Here we go. So now in a separate bowl, I'm going to combine all the dry ingredients, which is the flour, the salt, the baking soda, and the cream of tartar in one bowl. And then I'm going to slowly add it into the mixer. Um, I'm going to reduce my heat to low and just slowly, gradually add it in. Hi guys. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this beautiful dough and I'm going to put it into a Ziploc bag and I'm gonna put it in the refrigerator for a few hours to chill. What we're going for here is a light, puffy, soft, yet chewy cookie with uh, a little bit of a kick to it, which we've done that by uh, adding in the cream of tartar, and then a little bit of a crunch because we're gonna uh, roll it in granulated sugar and cinnamon, and it'll give it a little crunch plus that yummy cinnamon flavor that we all love so much. You guys are gonna love these cookies. Hi guys. So I've been decorating all day today for the holiday season. It's the night before Thanksgiving and I have been really busy prepping for Thanksgiving dinner. I've got a bunch of onions and celery chopped over there for the stuffing. I've got, you know, all kinds of stuff going on in this kitchen, but I do want to finish 
the snickerdoodle recipe that we started. And uh, so I'm gonna show you the second part of that after you refrigerate that dough, what you're gonna do. Gosh, wow, what happened to me? I spilled something. So uh, we're going to uh, take a bowl and you're going to take some sugar. I'm gonna grab some sugar right here and I'm going to take about a third of a cup of sugar and I'm gonna dump it into the bowl. Then I'm gonna take a little bit of cinnamon um, about maybe um, two teaspoons of cinnamon and I'm going to dump that in the sugar and stir it all up. So if you can see there, just stir it all up and that's going to be what we roll our cookies in. So I'm going to show you how to do that now. I'm going to pop these babies in the oven at 375 for about 9 to possibly 11 minutes. What you're looking for is a little bit golden on the outside, but you want them almost soft on the inside. And so I'll show you that when I bring them out of the oven. So just a few little tips. When you take them out of the oven, oh, they're ready. So as I was saying, what you want to do when you take them out, you want, they should have some cracks in them, the cookie, and it should look undone in the crack. You don't want to over bake these. It's one of the things you want them tender. You want them light. You want them fluffy and you don't want to over bake them. Now the cream of tartar works with the baking soda. Uh, to give it the puff and the tang. So the cream of tartar is really kind of the secret star of the show ingredient for a snickerdoodle. Um, the other thing, um, I use butter and shortening. I would not recommend only using butter because butter has a tendency, buttered cookies have a tendency to spread more and you want to have a little bit of poof to these cookies. So I recommend using shortening, a combination of shortening and butter so they don't um, spread too much. So I have one of these beautiful snickerdoodles right here and you could see the cracks and um, just light and fluffy, perfectly uh, golden. Mmm. I shouldn't say golden. You want it to be kind of white still, just a little golden on the edge. But oh wow. Light, fluffy. I feel the I taste the tang, but also the crunch because the cinnamon and the sugar are coated with it. Very delectable. Mmm. Guys gotta try this one. Perfect for the holiday.